to you, everyone. I'm Penn State student meteorologist Travis Patterson, here to tell you to be careful on those roads and sidewalks this morning, as there are some slick spots due to some black ice. I know I slipped a few times on the way into work this morning, but and we will be dealing with those slippery conditions as we continue throughout today into tomorrow. We have another cold Friday in store for us, but we will see a little warm up on Saturday with temperatures on the order of 10 degrees above average for us on Saturday, but that won't, won't stick around for too much longer. We will be dealing with a clipper system moving through late Saturday into Sunday morning, bringing us a chance for some lake effect snow squalls here in central Pennsylvania. And along with this system, some much, much colder air will be moving in by the end of the weekend to start off Martin Luther King holiday with some of the coldest temperatures of the season so far. Currently, we're sitting at 32 degrees here in State College with some light to moderate winds out of the west to southwest, knocking our wind chill temperatures down into the mid-20s, so quite cold outside. We need to bundle up across the state. Not seeing too much in the variation of temperatures, mostly in the 30s here in, in Pennsylvania. Bradford, you're the low spot for this morning with a, a, high, or a temperature currently of 28 degrees. The warm spot is Cumberland and Harrisburg at 37 degrees. Now for a look at the radar, we have a system of low pressure in the southeastern United States, and that's moving off to the north and east. We're right on the edge of this precipitation, so I can't rule out a few snow showers here in central Pennsylvania, but nothing in the way of accumulation really, but it will pretty much provide us with um, a cloud deck here, not moderating our temperatures throughout the day on Thursday, but for the next 48 hours, here's a precipitation forecast. By Thursday evening, much of the rain has moved off to the, to the north and east, and behind this rain, we will be dealing with a weak area of high pressure moving in, and that will clear up the skies for us here on Friday and into Saturday, leaving us to partly to mostly sunny skies. And now for your five-day forecast. On today, we'll see mostly cloudy skies with a high of around 35 degrees, dipping quite low tonight, a low of 19 degrees in the teens. Pretty cold for this time of year. And to tomorrow, it'll be another cold day. Our temperatures will struggle to reach out of the 20s, 27 for your high tomorrow, but we will see some sun poking through the clouds at times. Another cold night, Friday night, 21 degrees. Pretty cold, so bundle, out, bundle up if you're going outdoors Friday night. But look at that gorgeous day on Saturday, a high of 42 degrees with mostly sunny skies. And that's going to melt some of the snow that we saw this past week from the storm. And that could lead to some more tricky travel conditions as we head into Saturday night. The low will dip below freezing again, so there could be a tendency for any of the snow melt to refreeze on any of the roads here in central Pennsylvania. And those tricky travel conditions will continue in through Sunday as our high will stay below freezing. And we do have that clipper si system moving off to our north, bringing us a chance for some lake effect snow, sh snow showers here in central Pennsylvania. And then after Sunday afternoon, that really cold Arctic air starts to move in with a knocking our temperatures down into the upper teens. And for your holiday Monday, our temperatures won't get out of the 20s. From Penn State Campus Weather Service, I'm your student meteorologist, Travis Patterson. Have a great day.